Welcome to the first webinar of the Young Administration. I am Susan Metzger, National Chairman of the DAR Leadership Training Committee. The webinar series initiated during the Wright Administration through the DAR Leadership Training Committee were very informative and popular. We will continue providing these webinars over the next three years. Today's webinar is presented by Lynn Forney Young, President General. On behalf of your newly elected executive officers, I wish to express our sincere gratitude for the confidence you have placed in us to lead the National Society for 2013 to 2016. The theme of this administration is honoring our heritage, focusing on the future, celebrating America. We have chosen as our administration's emblem the majestic eagle to represent the strength of our commitment to guard that which is committed to our trust and to keep us ever mindful of the freedom we cherish as Americans. I would like to introduce your new executive officers. Ann Turner Dillon, first Vice President General. Ann Sally Kreider, Chaplain General. Barbara Hensley Carpenter, Recording Secretary General. Karen Kading Gerard, Corresponding Secretary General. Denise Doring Van Buren, Organizing Secretary General. Martha Gee Barnhart, Treasurer General. Sharon Maine Withers, Registrar General. Baina Weems Kasky, Historian General. Judy Harlan Chaffin, Librarian General. Jenny Mae Renberg, Curator General. And Mindy Tidmore Kamire, Reporter General. We are pleased that the successful Special Project Grants Initiative begun during the Wright Administration will continue as part of the Young Administration President General's Project. The Special Projects Grant Program provides grant funding to support local community projects which exemplify the three mission areas of DAR, historic preservation, education, and patriotism. In 2012 to 13, more than $300,000 was awarded for 51 projects. I encourage you to visit the committee website to learn more. There are two particularly exciting elements I hope will energize your chapter during this administration. The celebration of the 125th anniversary of the NSDAR in 2015 and the launch of a new Celebrate America Committee, which will document the work our members undertake on behalf of our society's ideals in their communities. Since our founding in 1890, DAR members have worked tirelessly to promote historic preservation, education, and patriotism through a comprehensive committee structure in communities across this nation and in units overseas. Yet the NSDAR is often looked upon as purely a lineal society, and its service organization mission often goes unappreciated by the general public and even by some members. It is time that we celebrate America through our combined community service efforts so that all realize the vibrancy and vitality of today's DAR. It is our goal to see daughters celebrate our heritage by giving 1 million hours of service annually to promote historic preservation, education, and patriotism. This will allow us to enthusiastically demonstrate the vibrancy of today's DAR in our local communities while fulfilling our important mission of service to God, home, and country. All DAR members will be encouraged to record their hours of community service regularly in whatever capacity they serve within their communities, providing that service supports the motto of the NSDAR of God, home, and country. Learn more about the Celebrate America Committee on the member's website or by watching the upcoming webinar by Committee Chairman Leanne Turbyfill. Another opportunity to celebrate America is to contribute towards the President General's project. The goals of the President General's project are to restore and improve the NSDAR complex of historic buildings, promote membership, advance NSDAR's technological capabilities in support of history, education, and patriotism, enhance awareness of the DAR and our valuable assets, and fund community grants for historic preservation, education, and patriotism. You can contribute to the President General's Project by purchasing President General's Project items in the DAR store and supporting the project through donations. 
Other opportunities to help are described on the President General's Project Committee website. This new President General's Project will be submitted for ratification at the 123rd Continental Congress in 2014. I hope you are all enjoying the Today's DAR blog so far. If you have not already subscribed to the blog, I encourage you to do so. We hope to make this blog a place where we can share important society news and updates, but also the amazing work of members as they celebrate America. Please use the comments function to send in success stories about the service work your chapter is doing in your local community. We look forward to including guest writers featured on the blog. These individuals, such as our executive officers, national chairmen, and department heads, will offer expertise in their particular subject area and will provide information for becoming a more informed and active member. Please do take advantage of all the blog has to offer. We hope you will explore the different pages on the blog, view the photos, and use the helpful links to our Facebook, Flickr, and YouTube pages, as well as the GRS and the public and members' websites. It is an honor and also deeply humbling to have been elected by the voters at the 122nd Continental Congress to serve as your President General. I look forward to serving with you as we honor our heritage, focus on the future, and celebrate America.